Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Rena Mo's Designs. I'd just like to take a moment to remind you to please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification, and also remind you that I want to stay connected to you. So please visit us on our social media. You getting me in there too? No, I'm not getting you in here you unless you want to. Let me get you in there. Hey everyone, just wanted to give y'all a quick update Jasmine. of what's going on in the garden. And we'll start here with the tower that I showed you before. I'm gonna flip the camera so I can actually see what's coming up, okay? All right, so here is the tower and you can see that how much the tomato plant in itself has really, really grown. The little tomato plant has a big tomato on it, which I think is so funny. And as you can see, we're bed. having some strawberries here. Here's a new one that's coming. And in the others, there's a, another place where we have uh, strawberry. See the flowers coming and everything. One got lost. Like the one that we initially had on there, we think, um, an opossum that Paul saw a couple of nights ago may have gotten it, but we're not sure. But I'm very excited to show you what's coming up in the actual garden garden. So here we have, go talk to the kids. Here is where I planted the okra seeds last Sunday, right here. And they've all popped up. But look what else is showing its head. All of the little lemon basil that I just sprinkled, if y'all can see, that's all coming up. And the tomato starts that I started, they're kind of looking the same. Not an improvement yet, but none of them have died. So you gotta be happy with that, I, I guess. And a couple of days ago, I went ahead and put some cucumbers in that were starts. And they're looking okay so far. Uh, one of them is dead, and I think the other one here, this last one, it's like hanging on by a thread. We had a really bad storm a couple of nights ago where the wind was so crazy, it just knocked everything over. So the cucumbers haven't really picked up from that. But I'm deciding if I'm going to put pull up these, these here and plant in between in these couple of spaces to free up this row and start some by seeds is what I'm thinking because I'm gonna put a trellis over the top so that they, as they grow, they can kind of wind themselves over the trellis. So that's one thing that I'm starting um, probably next week. And over here, our other bed where I started the tomatoes with seeds, you can see they are beginning to pop up on both sides. Now, I did not put any basil seeds in this garden, but I'm going to. I'm gonna put regular basil seeds. And the back one back here, I haven't started anything there. I think I'm gonna do beans there. Now, um, the volunteer watermelons, they're actually doing really good. They are gonna go in their own bed when I'm done. The dill hasn't, the dill hasn't popped through yet. So we're gonna give that a few more days. And then also the flower seeds that I planted, they haven't started to come up yet either. But we're gonna give them a few more days as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and we'll start talking. All right, and we picked this beautiful jasmine plant up at Trader Joe's. So I just wanted to let you guys kind of see how the garden's coming and what it is that we are doing. Um, I know in that video with the gardening, I showed you the red beans and the black beans. And I also told you about some loofahs that I planted. On this video, um, I mentioned that we had a storm pass through here, a, a heavy storm, which had high winds, and it flipped a lot of stuff over, including those cell trays that I had initially set up the um, beans and the loofahs in. So 
I'm so thankful that I did not use all of the bean that I got from Mariama, my coworker, because now I need a redo. Um, but this time I think what I'm gonna do is actually put them down in a bed. So these wooden beds that I have the garden in, I got those from Amazon. All of the links are down below if you're interested in them. Um, I'm gonna be repurchasing two more of those because if I'm not mistaken, uh, one whole row is like two sections. So I'm gonna make sure that I have enough to so that now I'll have four rows and that's where I'll be putting the beans. And I'm probably gonna split one on, let me see if I can flip this. So I'm gonna try and put one on this side and one on this side. And the reason for that is because the beans obviously require pollination just like most uh, fruiting plants do. And I don't want any kind of cross pollination between the two because one was a distinct red bean and the other was a distinct black bean. So to make sure that I don't get any cross contamin, yeah, any cross breeding and end up with a totally different type of bean when I save seed from it, I'm gonna put them on opposite sides. I also want to start some corn. So if I do corn, it's probably gonna be on this side. So um, you see I have a section here and then the section in the back, that doesn't have anything in it. I think I'm gonna put corn there and then when I put the new row in, the back one will be corn, the front one will be beans. And then I can turn around on this one and I'll have beans on this side and maybe I'll do like a pickling cucumber or something over on that side. But anyway, um, we're definitely increasing our garden that things are coming up, but it's gonna be slow and staggered. Say hi, Polly Bear. Yeah, the garden. I used to have a green thumb for gardening and then I don't like it, but now Nikki's kind of forcing it on me and I'm accepting it. I gotta accept things in life. Nikki wants me to put together things got a landscape in that. But yeah, I'll do this watering. Now we should get a sprinkler system, but that's gonna be down the road. We gotta do some other projects before we do that. Yeah. But right now it's better for the YouTube family. You guys you got some good fans. They got some loyal fans. Hey you better edit that because I don't I don't think I sound good. Stop. You sound fine. I sound funny. You sound fine sound fine they're our family it doesn't matter we are ourselves with them so anyway guys that's kind of what we're we're doing if you notice in the background that there's a lot of sand i'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit there's our our main doggy Deezy. diesel diesel hey boy he's so precious he's very old he's 13 years old but you see there all of that sand they're doing some repairs to the lake. They're uh, dredging it up. So now it's like we have lakefront property. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because the walking trail is still going to be there, but it's going to be closer to our gate. And um, it was having us worried. Well, me worried a little bit because, you know, diesel is very, very protective. So everything will be fine as long as little kids or other animals don't come through the the fence there we got little fences see? yeah we see. we've got little uh kind of like chicken wire but it's not chicken wire it's a different kind of wire along there but you know things can happen so we'll just see how it goes that's a cast iron rod never again because they rust when i moved here to yeah the fencing it was already rusted so when you get aluminum fence yeah, when we replace it in a in what a few months or we're gonna wait a year or two. No, we're gonna wait till next year. We're gonna wait until first. next year. Yeah. We gotta get our wood fence taken care of. It's starting to look a little janky. But um we're doing some really nice things here in the garden and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying what we're doing. We're gonna continue to take you guys along and let y'all see how we start trying to help our family benefit by having some uh being fruitful and becoming many. <laughs> Hold on. So that's a joke about becoming many <laughs> at our age anyway. But Tuesday, which is the fifth, right, Boo Bear? 
is the fifth. Gray's coming. In. Yeah. Love the gray. I'm taking care of that tomorrow. No, Tuesday, make it all silver. I want it all silver. Yeah, no, blonde. So Tuesday um, is Memorial. And for us, that is, it's nice and 14. That's the real date of what it's called. For those of you who are out there that are Christians, nice and 14, that is the actual day where the Romans came and took Jesus from Gethsemane and crucified him on a torture stake. And he died because it was from sundown to sunup. It could have been a tree for, too, uh, you know. Yeah. And from sundown to sun up was a day back then. I know we don't think of it that way now, but that, that's how it was. So he actually died. And so we're going to be participating in Memorial where we celebrate the passing of Jesus. Because in doing that, in him perfectly dying for us, he repaid that sin and gave us the hope of everlasting life. So him being our Lord and Savior on Tuesday, that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to upload a video before Tuesday, but I just wanted to let you guys know that little tidbit and I would like to um, share that with you guys um, because not a lot of people know that nice and 14 is an actual date and it's gonna fall on Tuesday April the 5th this year okay guys I love you guys so much be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video always subscribe and we'll talk with you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>